Oof. We be live. Live from NJL Studios. You know, I did a live stream last night, you know, and I just felt like, why not do another? You know what I'm saying? It's Tuesday. Mmm. Got my hustle juice. Okay. Here's what we're doing. We are going to be producing some new music today. And uh, last time I did a live stream producing, it was a um, a track that has already had quite a bit of stuff. A-Train, first to jump on. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. So we're going to be starting this whole thing. Last time I did a live stream producing, uh, it was already well underway. This one is not. Oh, why do I have a compressor and limiter on? Let's turn that crap off. Okay. That would maybe explain why it was so loud. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. So this is actually Haney. Haney Dory or Haney? I'm probably saying that wrong. Welcome. Welcome. So this track that we're going to be looking at here is I'm going to be making a whole separate video on it. I took the soundtrack from Inception, the movie Inception, and I wrote an original song. I turned this whole, th I turned it into an original song. So why don't we start with what the theme is that I use to produce this and then kind of go through some of this stuff. Love from India. Hey, hey. Okay, let's mute out these vocals. Oop. Whoa. What is going on? Yikers. So this is what we got. You know, maybe I do want to turn that on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that is the theme that we used. And then in the bridge, which is here, I used another one from the film. So that's the theme, but then I changed the chord progression underneath of it. Yo, yo, Ty Roberts from Columbia, coffee country. I've got myself from some uh, locally roasted coffee here. Mm. All about that breakfast blend. Okay, so this is it. I changed the chord progression on here. And then I ended up adding in a little bit of a cool. So D major. Five chord going back in to the minor one. Booyah. Okay, so um, let's actually start doing some work on this. So this is what the verse sounds like. And again, if you're just hopping on, this is, uh, I took the, the score from the film Inception and I basically wrote an original song around it using themes from the movie to inspire the lyrics as well. I'm dreaming again. This is the verse. I don't know when it will end. I'm losing control. Reality has lost its hold. I lost sense of time. I might lose my mind. Okay, so that's the verse. Uh, question about posting this uh, session later on. <laughs> Any red vines left? That's awesome. Yes, they're in. They're they're uh, in my entertainment area uh, <laughs> um, from watching some some TV last night. Okay, but I got my coffee. That's all I need right now. Red Vines right now would probably not go over well. But yes, this will be available uh, later on. So if you're not able to watch the whole stream here with me, that's totally cool. So Drew Olson, love that D7 major. Yeah, the D major is cool because if you have A minor with that, that F sharp, adds this really cool modal element to it, which is really fun. Okay, so again, if you're just hopping in uh, to the live stream, this is using music from Inception, okay? Uh, the movie Inception, so the Hans Zimmer score. Uh, and no, it's not Hans, it's actually Hans. I thought it was Hans for the longest time, and then I actually have watched interviews of him talking, and it's, it's Hans. Awkward. Okay, so let's actually start producing this thing, shall we? Um, 
What I'm going to do is what I normally do, uh, and you can actually see this here in my notes. I usually will kind of map out the producing that I want to do before I actually start doing it because I think it's really important to not shoot in the dark, to have a long-term vision for what do I want this whole thing to be and use that to kind of inspire the whole thing. Now, lately, I've actually been, interestingly enough, not starting at the beginning when I produce, and I'm actually going to do that here. I think I'm actually going to start at the second part of verse one. I want to I want to add some strings. So what we're going to do is use some native instruments. We're going to load this sucker up. Hopefully my computer can manage all of this together. Let's open up string ensemble. I'm just going to use the... Whoa, that was weird. I'm going to use the full strings here, not because that's what I normally do, but because I want to get the basic idea here. And then we're going to figure out if I'm going to have any cool voice leading happening. And if I do, then I'll split things up. So we got to get that sucker colored. We're going to call this strings. Let's delete that. I don't need it. Let's get rid of all the, cr all the crap we don't need. I don't think we need that vocal. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and start doing this thing. Old sense of time ah. <laughs> does consumption of whey protein help to become a music producer um i know mangoes though you know mangoes help you with your brain Okay, cool, cool. So let's go ahead and do this. Reality has lost its hold. And then it's going to be just like this. I love that sus, that sus sound. It works really good. Here we go. Okay, so this is Phil Coleman, live stream midday. Heck yeah, bro. You know, I got to do some producing as it is, and uh, I decided to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to quantize all that stuff, but I'm not going to leave it quantized. And I'll kind of explain why as I'm working here. Um, but I, I basically just kind of got the outline of what I wanted here. And let's kind of figure that, this out. Ooh, George asking when I'm going to react to the songs. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. The deadline for that is today. And I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I'll be filming it tomorrow. Probably be releasing that, Lord willing, on Thursday. Okay. I want to make sure that... I don't want to rely on the sustain pedal at all with these strings, okay? Okay, so strings sometimes also have a little bit of a slower attack, and so we're gonna move that forward so we don't have any issues with that. Let's have that low. Here we go. We're gonna move all this stuff forward here. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, just got a question asking if I would ever produce live with a subscriber. That would be really challenging to do just logistically. I'm not saying I wouldn't ever do it. I think that'd be fun to do, but that would be pretty hard, logistically speaking, to do. Okay, so really what I'm trying to do here, it looks like that note pretty much stays throughout the whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to want that. Here we go. Woo. Okay, so I love that. That's just, that sus sound where you have the... And you don't resolve it. Sounds so good. Really, really good sounds. Okay, so that's where I actually did resolve it here. And just so you guys know, if you want to support this live stream, I do have Super Chat and stickers available. Or not available, but you can, you can get them. Make sure I can, you know... 
not starve to death. <laughs> totally kidding. By the way, I'm not going to starve to death. Don't worry. But if you want to support the live stream, you can feel free to do that. Much appreciated. Don't feel any pressure to do that, though. Let's get that G there. Mm-hmm. Doing strings, it's a little bit of a painstaking idea, or painstaking, I mean, it's just, it takes time. And my computer's struggling here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We gotta keep going, we gotta keep going. Gotta keep moving, moving. Oh. Ah. Sense of time. Okay, let's make these strings more expressive, and the way we're going to do that is with some uh, modulation, which is what, what actually controls expression. So, so I'm going to put uh, a dot on every bar, and then also I'm going to put another one on every uh, three. So I'm going to put it on one, three, So that you, you can see here, I basically put a dot here. And then what I'm gonna do is use that to crescendo into kind of each each point. Here we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use the curve tool. I'm gonna change my tool here to the automation curve tool. And I'm going to then turn, oh, nope, come on now. I'm gonna add curves here, make it curvy, you know? And that is going to help make sure that this is a little more interesting. Hello from Slovakia. That's awesome. Welcome. Okay, so I want that to go down a little bit more. It's going to make it even more expressive. Nice. Computer struggling here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The computer is having a really hard time. It's because I'm streaming as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I like that. That sounds pretty decent. I'm dreaming again. I don't know when. Okay, I think I'm hearing something kind of ethereal that needs to go in here. Let's see what we can come up with. You know what I'm going to do? Is it strings that they know? I think it's percussion. Where is it? Hello, yo, 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 where are we? Orchestra, wait, what? Um, hello, like what's going on here? I, I want some harp. Okay, that means I just need to use, use the contact factory. Wait, what? There it is. Jeez, I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Let's do some harp. Dreaming again. I don't know when it will. Bum, 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 bum. Oh,
ay, 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 ay. BBC Symphony Orchestra harp. Oh, that's what I was thinking. You know what? I knew that I had that. Thank you for that. There we go. <laughs> Greece is watching me. Oh, no! My, so, bad news, guys. My hard drive that actually has that, uh, I think it just died. So, that's not cool. Need to fix that. All right, let's go back to this harp, shall we? All right, I think I've got some ideas here. Reality has lost its hold. I lost sense of time. I might lose my mind. Okay. I don't like that. Lost sense of time. I might lose my mind. Sounds a little, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this particular sound. But we're going to keep it there for the time being. I lost sense of time. I might lose my mind. All right, I'm going to just mute that. I don't know how I'm feeling about that. I'm in a tree. Okay, bye. All right, cool. We'll just do that. My hmm. Let's try that again. That was not what I wanted. Okay, so my computer is really struggle busting here. Zimmer vibes, yeah, that's because this is literally, I'm literally writing an original song to a Zimmer track. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you guys are just new to the live stream, um, I, I took the soundtrack from Inception and wrote an original song to that. So that is, that is what this is. So I'm just going to kind of get the basics of this outlined, and then I'll probably get a lot more nitpicky down the road. I don't want to just bore you guys with me editing strings, but, uh, you know, you got to do it. Uh... No, that's all good. J Joseph, 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 I'm, I'm probably butchering your name. I'm sorry. Okay, Doki. Got to keep moving here. Oh, yeah, we'll be adding in, like, horns and, and all that stuff. It'll be, it'll be pretty cool. I'll be actually releasing a full-blown video kind of breaking down this whole thing. I just figured some of you guys might like to actually see more of the process of, of actually putting this all together, not like cut together super, super fast. This 
really struggling. Force Legato, yeah, I could do that, but I'm actually, um, but I'm actually, no, this is not BBC Symphonic. Uh, this is not the uh, BBC Orchestra. Um, this is Native Instruments, which I think sounds quite a bit better. Kidoki. Yeah, but again, about the Force Legato situation, I could do that, um, but I don't actually want it to to force legato because I want it to overlap uh, a little bit and I want to be pretty detailed about how I do that. Yeah, now we're talking. Got to get some, got to get some expression in there. That is how you get strings to sound good. Anything orchestral, if you want it to sound really good, that's how you do it. All right, let's drop that down a little bit more to make it a little more great. Hey, Carlos, thanks so much. Really appreciate that. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change this piano sound because what it is is it's actually... Una corda, una corda, una una corda eats up a lot. So I'm going to change it to the gentleman for the time being. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just going to freeze this. I'm going to freeze it because pretty much what it is right now is what I want to be. This will take a sec. Okay, sorry. It mutes the, all the audio. Um, it mutes the audio when I freeze. So freezing basically means that it's going to lock everything that I have here so that my computer is not using CPU, really, to run it, which just makes it a lot easier on my computer. There we go. So Joseph or Joseph, I dude, I'm probably totally screwing this up. Um, the reason I don't want to bounce it down to audio is because I do want to change it later. What I have here is pretty much just a dummy for the time being. I am going to change it, which means I'll just unfreeze it and then I'll go through and actually redo some stuff for that. But right now I want to focus on some other elements first. So let's go ahead and get some percussion started here. Um, let's just put this harp somewhere else. I'm going to use some damage. Damage. Actually, I might actually use some. Let's see how this stuff sounds. I've actually never used this. Why is it not doing it? Oh. Huh. I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, as far as what iMac I'm using, I got that question. I'm, or what Mac I'm using. I am using an iMac. Let's use damage. I'm actually going to get a new one here soon because 
it's kind of not working for me right now. Let's do this one. No, I'm not gonna do an M1. I'm gonna actually do a 27 inch iMac. I don't want it to be that crazy. Let's turn on. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, we'll just do it like every every bar. Just like that. We'll just call this damage kick. Let's color that sucker purple. Boom. Um, yeah, I I have a uh, MacBook Pro as well that works really good. That's new. Oops. I've heard the same about the M M1. So I heard good things. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna duplicate that. Why do I have everything solo out? I don't want everything solo out. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna turn this into stick, damage stick. Let's get rid of this filter. Come on. We go. I'm in a tree with it. There we go. I like that. Okay, so that's that. Let's quantize or not quantize. Let's put that in there. Gonna change the color of this to orange. I want like a ticking, ticking, tick, 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 because it's Inception. Ah, it's Inception, right? So you got to have some some ticking, tick, tock, tick, tock. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll figure that out. Ooh, I dig that. Here I stand. Have I gone missing? Are these scenes collapsing? Or is the world now ending? Are these dreams reality? Or will I wake up? Okay, so... I'm gonna take off that... Are these dreams collapsing? Or is the world now ending? Are... Hmm. Da -da -da. Ah, that's why. Totally played it wrong. Are 
are these dreams collapsing? I hope so. Dreams collapsing. Or is the world now ending? Oh. If Carlos is asking me how long I've been producing, it's been like 12 or, thir 12 or 13 years. Are these dreams reality? Or will I wake? And then this on wake up, everything's going to just like drop out. Will I wake up? So it needs to stop right there. Will I wake up? Yeah, there we go. Will I wake up? There we go. Dig that. So this needs to cut off. Wake up. Right there. I wake up. Yeah, I've been producing 13 years, writing for 16. I locked it deep inside. Am I self taught? Yes and no. Um, I started out that way, but I ended up working for a producer when I was in college. Uh, when it comes to composition, though, um, I don't use OBS. I actually use a program called I Show You Instant. But yes, any sort of screen sharing is going to use a lot of CPU. Um, I have a degree in music composition. I studied under a songwriter when I was 10 years old. So when it comes to writing, that's definitely more of my strong suit. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this. I think I did. But if you guys want to support the live stream, I do have Super Chat and um, Super Stickers enabled. So if you want to do that, you can. You don't have to. Like, it's not a big deal. But, you know, I'll probably starve if you don't. <laughs> Just totally kidding. A sense of time I, I lose my mind I'm in a dream within a dream Woo, here we go. I feel I'm slipping I've seen the worlds collide And here I stand Have I gone missing? Are these dreams or is the world now ending? Are these dreams reality? Or will I wake up? Okay. He's coming says nice flow like movie music. Yeah. So I, I, uh, there's a lot of people just jumping into the stream now. Um, this is using this is using the the soundtrack from the movie Inception actually, and then I wrote an original song to it. So it's using this theme here. It's using that theme, and yeah. I'm dreaming again. And here's the vocal. I don't know when it will end. I'm losing control. Reality has lost its hold. I lost sense of time. I, I lose my mind. I'm in Josh Cool says, What version of Complete do I use? So I have a Complete Ultimate 12. Um, planning on getting 13 here next year. Uh, should you mix vocals first or instrumental when making a song? You shouldn't be doing any mixing until the entire arrangement is done. 
any mixing you're doing is rough mix, and then you start completely from scratch when you're done. That's my advice. You might be doing some rough mix stuff, but you should really be focusing on the ar arrangement. Like you should have producing mode and then mixing mode. There is a there is a very clear difference between what mixing and producing is. Okay, I want to get. Um, <sighs> I really feel like what we have in here is sounding pretty good. I'm in a tree. It's like Aladdin music. That's funny. Um, we're going to do some double bass because I really want more of that low end. So I am going to go ahead and actually grab a actual bass here to really add some more of that. Oh, they actually put the extra string in there. That's nice. I lose my mind. I'm in a dream within a dream In the fear I'm slipping I've seen the world Okay, that'll do it. In a dream within a dream, in the fear I'm slipping. Okay. Uh, the strings sound good. Um, 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 what am I using? Yeah, I'm using uh, Native Instruments strings here. I'm in a dream within In the fear I'm slipping I've seen the world collide in here I stand, have I gone missing? Someone asked what keyboard I use. I use Native Instruments Control S88. I love it. It is so good. Wake up. <laughs> is this Garage Band? No, this is not Garage Band. This is Logic. I locked it deep inside. All right, let's get some drums in here. Why not? Locked it deep inside A truth that I knew but I chose to hide I chose to forget Okay, thanks for doing this. Yeah, hey, no problem. This is a lot of fun. I have to do this anyway. Like, I gotta produce anyway as it is, so uh, <laughs> might as well just do it live, right? All right, let's add these sticks in here. Copy that. Save some time, right? Because I already know what I'm doing. I locked it deep inside. Nice, spot an S88 after watching my video. That's awesome. The truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I think that kick is a little bit too much. I locked it deep inside. The truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. Oh, yeah, that's good. I think if we're gonna do it that way though, we might need to remove some of this decay that it has and stuff like that. I locked it deep inside a truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I cho oh, okay, so um Florence distorted vision. Florence distorted vision. Okay, I think I got that right. He's asking uh, after everything's done, when it's time to mix, it really depends. I mean, it's going to depend on what's the, you know, what's the key part of the track, right? So I think that's the first thing is you need to decide. Uh, what's the shortcut I'm using? It's just Command R. R for repeat. I locked it deep inside. A truth that <laughs> Anna Maria, that welcome, welcome, welcome. I chose to forget. Everything I loved in the buried air. Hi. 
Okay, so if you're if you're just joining and y'all are like, what is this he's doing? What is this secret track he's doing? Uh, this is, I took the, the score from the movie Inception and I turned it into an original song. I'll be publishing a whole video uh, here. Burdick, Psychological Services, May I Suggest a Female Vocal, an Octave Above. Actually, originally I was thinking this whole verse would be a female. Uh, I have a female vocalist I'm going to be having coming in just to see if she actually fits vocally. I have never worked with her before. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's kind of that. Yeah, let's do some strings like that, like some staccato strings. I just need to remember what key that is. A sharp. What the heck? Oh, it's up here. There it is. Woo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Greetings from India. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Okay, so let's let's uh, do this. I locked it deep inside. A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget everything I loved and I buried it. I lost sense of time. I totally butchered that. I butchered that, guys. I locked it deep inside. A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget everything I loved and I buried it. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's grab that. I love I locked it deep inside. I love how the the velocity, the uh, modulation is like whoa, whoa, pops in. Whoa, whoa, where are we? I, I locked it deep inside. A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget everything I loved and I buried it. Add a fat double bass over that crap. <laughs> Duh. I'll probably actually just. I locked it deep inside. A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget everything I loved in the back. Oh! Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I know what we're doing. We got to get some freaking sense in here. We got to start taking this to a new direction, right? Okay. Okay. Reactor six. Heck yeah. Eric in the house. What up, my buddy? What's the snow symbol for? That stands for freeze. Um, yeah. So freeze track is going to um, basically save on computer space. Here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, we gotta start changing this out. That's what I want. Hans Zimmer agrees. Yeah. I locked it deep inside. Woo! A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget everything I loved and I buried it. Okay, 
Okay, so I need to kind of sync that up a little better with the drums. Here we go. Hey, thanks. Love the singing. Thanks so much. So, bum, bum. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it. I locked it deep inside. A truth ah. that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget. Ah. Everything I loved and I buried it. Maybe start sacking sounds like a sandwich, dude. That's what we're that's what we're about to do. I locked it deep inside. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna side chain this. Inside. Ah! 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 No! Come on, come on, come on! The truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. To forget. There we go. We gotta get that low C. Gotta get that low C. I chose to forget. Oh yeah. Everything I loved in the bed. Okay, so then what we're gonna do? <laughs> uh, Y'all know what's about to go down. Maybe you don't know what's about to go down, but I'm gonna tell you what's about to go down. Let's gonna call this low Moog because. Monarch is based on the Moog. We're going to side chain this sucker to that kick. How much was your setup? A uh, thing? Okay, so are you asking like how much it costs? Okay, so question about was it a hassle to get permission? The nice thing is is that the theme is actually just a chord progression. So actually none of this is copyrightable. The other thing is YouTube is um, I'm adding, okay, the electric guitar, Enrique, I'm adding that a little bit later in the bridge. I'm actually holding off on doing that on purpose. I locked it deep inside The truth that I knew But I chose to hide Woo, yeah, there we go. Chose to forget Everything I loved and I buried it Sense of time. Oh, time. Uh, vocal melody. I could do a video on that. That that's actually something good totes do. Everything I loved and I buried it. So what does side chaining do? That's a great question. So what side chaining does is basically it makes it so that this kick right here, when it hits it essentially causes compression to go to another track and press it down. So listen to this Moog or this bass, actually. So right now it's just completely static, but when I add that compressor to it and then connect right up here to sidechain, I went to damage kick, which is what I wanted to sidechain to. It's actually pressing it down a little bit more. And actually, eventually, I'm going to have to EQ some stuff here. Uh, JG asks, is this me singing? Yes, this is. Um, this is me singing. This is just a dummy vocal. Um, it's just like one vocal. I'll actually be tracking out all this stuff. You've heard this chord progression a million times. Well, that's because it's literally from the movie Inception, which is the whole point of this track. I locked it deep inside. You know what? No, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta back up here. We gotta back up here. I'm gonna do a tremolo on here instead of, instead of. I don't know why they do this. Let's do that. Let's do. No, that's not what I want. Symmetry, sema, samatri, samatri, samatri. Um, I'm trying to remember how. One, two, three. The truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget. Oh, yeah. Everything you loved and I buried it.
Nice. Who disliked? I would like you to undo this and correct it to a like. You tell him. I locked it deep inside. A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget. Everything I loved and I buried it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Take me on me. Take. Yeah, there we go. Everything I loved and I buried in mind. Lost sense of time. I know that I've lost my mind. Boom. We'll fix some stuff in here. Ah, brassy buildup. Yo, yeah, we're going to be adding some brass. I totally butchered that. I don't think I want it so high. Cool, we can just duplicate that. Okay, uh, we, we got the question of what, uh, yes, this stream will be available on the channel. The string library, this is Native Instruments. Uh, I got a question about the songwriting. Did I did I uh, just kind of come up with this? Yeah, I mean, basically, you can see the lyrics are are down here. Um, I, I really took the themes of the movie Inception to actually inspire the lyric here. So, I mean, this is actually a, literally about the movie. Um, so, if you think of the lyrics, I'm dreaming. Yeah, excuse me. Wow, someone else disliked the stream. Y'all just jealous. Okay. Um, so what I did is I took the themes from the movie. Okay. Um, which is obviously dreaming. Um, impressed I've gotten 300 more subscribers since last night. I know this is crazy to see the growth on this channel. It is absolutely insane. Uh, whoever, I, so, uh, someone must have accidentally hit the dislike because it has disappeared. Thank you for for <laughs> undoing it. Um, so the lyrics, oh, went back to d dislike again. Someone's just toying with me. My goodness. What native instrument string library? Really like, here, I'll show you. It's just from the complete ultimate. Uh, it's the string ensemble uh, symphony essentials. It's not their like top of the line one, but it is really good. I've been super impressed. I have the native instruments or not native, it's uh, East West quantum leaps as well. And I got to say, I think this is better just because it's easier to use. East West is really good. It sounds absolutely amazing. However, uh, just it, it, takes up a lot of computer, it takes up a lot of RAM. Okay, so the lyrics, I'm dreaming again, I don't know when it will end, I'm losing control, reality has lost its hold, I've lost sense of time, I might lose my mind. That is literally directly from the idea or the concept of the movie. The chorus, I'm in a dream within a dream and I feel I'm slipping, I've seen the worlds collide and here I stand, have I gone missing? Are these dreams collapsing or is the world now ending? Are these dreams reality or will I wake up shortly? I initially had done shortly and that sounds stupid dumb so I didn't actually do that. And then if you watch the movie, um, <laughs> ignore the d jealous dislikers, thank you. Um, they're flirting. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. So, um, the verse two is actually about the wife. If you guys are familiar with the movie Inception, um, there's this really cool scene where it's a montage of them explaining what happened to the main character's wife and how she killed herself and how she basically like completely separated herself from reality. There's a very specific line that says she locked the truth 
and basically locked it and hid it away. And so I took that line, and you can hear, uh, I'll show this. Um, what do I think about Ableton? I've never used Ableton. I'm, I've used Logic and Pro Tools. Um, my advice is just pick one and go. You don't need to know how to use all the DAWs. Just, just pick one and go. So verse two, I locked it deep inside, a truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I choose to forget everything I loved and I buried it. I've lost sense of time. I think that I've lost my mind. So that melodically comes together to be like this. I locked it deep inside, a truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget everything I loved and I buried in my lost sense of time. I, I know that I've lost my mind. I'm in a dream. Oh, come on, stop, 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 stop. And I feel I'm slipping. I've seen the world's color. Okay, sorry. My computer just was not letting me do what I wanted. Okay. Um, did, I, did I say last night I'm doing a course? Yes. Uh, I have a course that's going to be launching in about a month. So I have nothing to sell you right now. But uh, I'm going to put a link in here. If you want, I'm actually giving away... I think that's right. It's called the Producer Accelerator. If you want, there is a link in the in the chat there for you guys. You can um, you can go ahead and and get that. It's a free module from the course. It's a full breakdown of one of my tracks. It's really good. Uh, I've actually had some people say like, "I can't believe you didn't charge money for this," and I was like, "Well, I'm just trying to make sure you guys see what the course is, at least partially." Um, so you don't have too much money to spend. So if there's one library you were going to buy, what would it be? I guess it just depends on what your, what your budget is. I am a huge native instruments fan. I think you're going to get the most bang for your buck with native instruments. Um, they're bundles at least they're not cheap, obviously. Um, but that's what I would do. And it just depends on how serious you are. It depends. Yeah. Would I tune the vocal? Well, this is just a dummy vocal. So no, um, this is just a dummy track. I'm going to end up actually producing actual vocals for this. This is just a placeholder. just so I can actually produce and know what the vocal's doing. Okay, uh, I need to start producing a little bit more because we've been talking. And you know what, guys? I love I love talking with you guys, but I got work to do. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I've already said this before, but if you guys want to support this live stream, you can you can use the super chat and you can use the super stickers. And and, and come here, come here. And my puppy, my puppy says hi. Here, let's let's show everyone what we look like here. My puppy says hi. Is this Piper a puppy? Yeah, this is Piper a puppy. Yes. I just got a thousand likes because of her. She needs food. I'm just kidding, guys. Seriously, don't worry about it. But she is a cute puppy. Let's change this back. Okay, I'm going to use some signal here. Yes, what Accelerator said. Spitfire Labs, fantastic. Okay, so... What I want to do is have some organic sounds, beautiful eighth notes. There we go. Ooh, that's cool. My, my dog's name is Piper. <gasps> yeah, buddy! Oh! Yes! Yeah. 
Yes, we are going so good. Yeah, my dog, my dog. Piper, come here. Come here. You want to say hi? Hi, puppy. Yeah, so my, she's my studio. Ow, I just knocked my knee. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. I just hit my knee. Oh, golly days. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, buddy. Let's get some low end. How many years have I been doing this? I've been doing this for 13, 12 or 13 years. I locked it deep inside. A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget. Everything I loved and I buried it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I love this. I love it when it just starts kind of coming together and you're like, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we need some horns. Let's get some horns. Uh, brass, brass, brass. Get some French horns up in this joint. Up in this joint. I will say, Native Instruments does not even come close to as good as East West when it comes to horns. That's that's one thing. There we go. Let's just take that. Yes. 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 Okay, so then so then if we're going to do that, then we might as well here let's just duplicate that. Let's make this low brass. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Andre Luis. Um, I have not heard of him, no. I might have to check that out. Okay, here we go. Brass Ensemble. Let's do some bones. No, 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 no. Let's just do the whole Brass Ensemble because I think that's going to maybe sound a little bit better for what I'm going for here. Oh, my Lanta. Here we go. Oh, yes. Here we go. Okay, so then you probably couldn't hear that super great because that was, uh, I didn't have the expression. Shyam, or Shyam, I'm sorry. Um, this is actually from Inception. That is literally what this track is. I took the Inception soundtrack and turned it into an actual original song. Booyah. Um, I cannot turn it to 1080 right now. I'm sorry. I, I need to upgrade my software. I apologize. I know. I know. It sucks. Oh, yeah. 
There we go. There we go. Oh, sad. Nope. Come on. Nope. Nope. Oh my gosh. Why is it doing this? Let's add some of that. Ah, come on. Ah, no, 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 no. There. There we go. Actually, let's keep let's keep that going. What software am I using? I guess if you're asking about the DAW, I'm using Logic Pro. Um, Tommy, uh, you just subscribed. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, do I offer a course? I, I will very soon. Um, yeah, I will. Uh, the course is launching in about a month. I put a link in here, and it should be in the description of this video as well, that you can get a free session download, or not download, breakdown, where I actually go through one of my tracks and break it down. It's one of the modules of the course. I'm giving it away for free until the course launches, and then uh, you'll get you'll get notified when I actually um, do that. So does side chain in the Moog reduce the amount of stuff happening in the bottom end? Not really, no. I mean, I'm still going to have to EQ stuff. Um, to get that sounding the way I want. Um, I'm not really worried about that right now. My main goal here is just getting an arrangement built. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely, um, how long have we been streaming for here? I just like all of a sudden didn't know. Oh, about an hour, okay. Um, but yeah, that's you're still gonna have to definitely, yeah. Whoa, and actually I ended up taking the side chain off and did tremolo instead. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. We're going to want to keep this going here. I'm in a tree within a tree. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so good. Oh. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna have to do some stuff to. Do I have a guide to all the logic shortcuts? No, but you can honestly just seriously Google, 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 Google it. There are so many resources out there that you can look into. Capturing vocals. Um, Tommy, what's your biggest challenge in capturing good vocals? Walk me through it. Hans Zimmer mode on. Heck yeah, guys. I mean, look, if you're going to produce a song using Hans Zimmer, literally like using his score, then you got to do some stuff in it that's like Hans Zimmer, right? I mean, I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've seen the world's okay, we need to add some counterpoint in here, I think, with the horns. There we go. Okay, maybe not. 
You're nearly better than Hans Zimmer. Uh, not likely. <laughs> not likely. Thank you, though. Oh, this part, I'm, I love this. I have not been practicing guitar, so this is going to be rough. Let's do some guitar. For guitar, I'm going to use native instruments as well. I'm going to use their guitar rig. This is so out of tune. Do I have a pick somewhere? Hello, pick? Topic? <laughs> Name that movie. Oh, there we go. First thing we gotta do is tune this bad boy. Woo! The piano is uh, una corda. Um, gain stage in between your preamp and interface. Maybe I'm running the mics too hot. Yeah, that's super common. Um, so you want to be shooting for minus six, minus 18 dB up to minus 6 dB. Benny, I'm going to be doing two live streams every single week starting in the new year. So try that on for size. Okay, let's go ahead and figure out what I want to do. Sure, we'll we'll just do that. Let's do quad delay. We definitely want to have some compression on there. This is Native Instruments, um, Julio. a little bit. <laughs> sure. I'm going to have to really tweak this sound a lot, but the cool thing about doing DI is it's super, super easy to do. These days feel like I just realized that that chord change might cause some problems. Ah, oh, man, I can't play that. I'm not that good. Let me think about this. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I will have to change the actual, I'll have to change this. So. Let's get rid of this delay. This delay is causing some serious problems. Or just. Um, so Julio, um, when buying plugins, what bundle should you start with? I know David Instruments might go to, but should I buy that first? And will that cover most of what I need even on vocals? I mean, 
as far as, yeah, I mean, the Native Instruments bundle has a bunch of effects plugins, you know, compressors and EQs and things like that. I mean, my, my, my big thing is that, like, you should be able to vocal... Um, uh, you can do vocal stuff with stock plugins, honestly. Uh, yeah. Hopefully that's not, I, I would go with Native Instruments. That's just, again, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Native Instruments, but... So is that one there, there it is. Not a very soup, not a very, I mean, the, I'm going to have to like actually go and listen to the inception score again to really figure out exactly what this is supposed to sound like. Cause it does not sound anything like what I wanted to. Okay, well, that's the idea that it's going to be. <laughs> that's. That could be kind of cool, maybe to do some, something's out of tune here. Guitar is not what I'm best at, for the record, <laughs> if you can't tell. That guitar line is really starting to make me mad, actually. That sounds really bad. Will I wake up? Anna Maria, do a James Bond song? That would be sweet. I actually was considering uh, doing uh, No Time to Die, Billie Eilish, but then producing the entire thing with nothing but pianos. Like, that would be kind of cool. There's something... Lee, Ricky, Bell's here, like... That could be kind of cool. Man, what is... That G string is just not wanting to cooperate, eh? Will I wake up? What is the deal here? This is still out of tune. What is going on? This is why you actually get nice instruments, everybody. This guitar is a piece of junk. That's like one of the big things I need to get new. I don't play guitar a ton either. 
the one, it needs to be here. This is just not working. Okay. Here's a good production tip. Sometimes you want to do something and if you're just not getting very good source, you just need to you need to abandon ship. So what I'm going to do is instead, I think I could probably use a sample for this. It's the inton Alex, it's the intonation of the instrument. That's the main problem. Is the intonation on the guitar is really bad. You know what? I'm going to come back to this later and I'll figure this out later. Okay, so I can dig that. Okay. Let's play around with this, huh? Let's play around with it. That actually sounded decent. Um, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna split up the strings here. Main reason is because I just don't wanna have any like weird stuff with like the sus strings and the staccato. So we're gonna call this my staccato strings. Sometimes I just really don't like the key switch stuff. We're gonna call this sus strings. Where did I get these strings from? Native Instruments, Symphony Essentials. I'll need to fix that, but that's okay. I 
If you want realistic sounding strings, do not quantize all the way. Eighty-one people watching without liking the video. Give the video a like, guys, for the YouTube algorithm. Man, this is sounding pretty good, actually. And I just started producing this song at the beginning of this live stream. At the beginning of this live stream, it had literally nothing. So. Philip Glass? Heard some Philip Glass? Uh, maybe. I actually studied piano with a buddy of Philip Glass when I was in college. He actually premieres pretty much all of Philip Glass's piano music. Okay, this is sounding pretty dece. We're getting somewhere. I need to do that in the horns. Yai, 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 yai. <laughs> that didn't work. Ah, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Let's clean that up.
Oh, yeah. We need to get that. Ba-da. This is where I actually wish I had East West here, because you can get that. Okay. That is where the cutoff needs to happen. Oh, yes. These days feel like years And I know we can't stay here I'm trapped inside this maze that I made I'm stuck inside these walls of my mind. There we go. I think we need to do some like arpeggiated stuff. I'm dreaming again. <laughs> that sounded sexy. I don't know yes. when it will end. I'm losing so what we got so far? Reality has lost its hold. I lost sense of time. Clock TikTok sound. We're going to come to it. I might lose my mind. I'm in. Anna, that was so nice. Fun story. Uh, I kind of mentioned this in the live stream last night. Um, I was told all growing up that I was tone deaf. So that's fun. So it's nice to know that I've improved. Um, <laughs> yeah. I locked it deep inside. That I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget everything I loved in the buried end. I lost sense of time. Mm, this is starting to hit. Like octave, I'll do like an octave higher. And I know we can't stay here. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> I'm trapped inside this maze that I made. I'm stuck inside these walls of my mind. 
So I've gotten so many comments about this sounding like time from Hans Zimmer. It is. Look at the title of this track up here, Inception Song. I literally took the soundtrack from Inception and made it into an original song. That's 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 what this is. Um, I'm going to be making uh, I'm going to be making a track on this. In Sixth Sense Media, uh, cool thing is chord progressions are not copyrightable, and that's that's what it is. It's a chord progression. Um, now this part here. That is pretty similar, um, but again, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty uh, common ostinato. And I couldn't, yeah. And so I mean, YouTube could decide to split ad revenue, but that's typically what happens if you do like a cover. You, yeah. These days feel like. inside this maze that I made I'm stuck inside these walls of my mind Cool. I like that. These days feel stay here I'm trapped inside this there have actually been so six cents me there have been a lot of cases of copyright that has been in my opinion unlawful um, <laughs> unfortunately it's a risk you have to take and uh, I'm small fish so it's not like I'm gonna be making any money off this so you know they wouldn't sue me first. They would just tell me to take the video down. If they tell me to take it down, then whatever, I'll take it down. But I don't think that's gonna happen. These days. Okay, let's get uh, let's get this reversed element in here. Let's get some reverse stuff like a uh, swelling element in here. Let's do rise and hit. What? Oh, pff, there it is. Let's try some stuff here. Ooh, that's nice. That's even nicer. Ah, yeah, boy, you can do that. Okay, we're gonna need to do another one in there. Let's duplicate that. Let's do something with strings. Rise and hit. Orchestral, here we go. Let's try some stuff out here. Nope. Pure violence, let's try that. That sounds awful. <laughs> How about a fancy drum still instead of a whoosh? Um, you know, that's, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go with like a really big build. That's what I wanna do. What's boat first? Rise and hit can be kind of tough to find good stuff. Yikers.
What the heck? I want the bush. What happened? Did I push something? <sighs> okay, let's just do this again. Let's maybe try something not orchestral. What about hybrid? Orchestral run up. Okay, why is it, why? Okay, I know how to do this and I'm completely blanking on it. Yeah, these these sounds are typically. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go to, we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to damage. Tom's studio kicks. Nope. Concert bass drums. Oh, try the lower notes, yeah. Oh my gosh. There we go. I, I know what you're saying. Lower notes in rise and hit, I know. I'm not I'm not even in rise and hit anymore. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to find a specific one that is I just had it. There we go. Cool, so that is um, bass drum roll. That's rise and hit. Um, we're gonna do another element here. I go back into damage. What I'm gonna actually do is go into Yeah. Wanna... That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we got that. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate that guy. No, nope, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to bounce this to audio. We're going to call this... Huge hit. And voila. We got that guy there. We're going to copy that one over. We're going to go to more. Reverse. Reverse! And add a nice fade. Yes, that's what I were talking about. 
That is what we're talking about. Let's cut off the tip of it there. That's what we're talking about. Okay, okay, <gasps> okay, I know where we're going next. We need some symbols, symbols. Okay, so symbol, go back in. Peasant, yo, good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, let's go back into damage, damage. Epic, organic, symbols, 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 symbols. Where is this? Maybe it's not in there. Maybe it's in metals. Symbol performance. Boom. Stop, 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 stop. My gosh. What the heck? Is this not the right one? Oh, pfft. I don't think this is the right one, y'all. What am I doing? Jeez. There we go. Okay, sure. All right, we're gonna bounce this guy down to, to audio. Symbol, roll. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. This has been fun. Um, hopefully this has been helpful for y'all. Let's take that and put it right there. Yes, there we go. Let's kind of fade that in. Put that again right there. Everything. No, 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 I don't want to unfreeze. Don't, don't, no, 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 don't do it like that. And then everything cuts out right on there. You're probably hearing in mono, well, first of all, I don't have anything panned. Literally nothing is panned in here. So, Kyle, yes, this is from Inception. I took the score from Inception and I turned it into an original actual song with lyrics and stuff like that except when i say i took the score I, I mean the chord progression and some of the orchestration and stuff like that it's not like i actually took the score um but yeah that's what we've got going here so far okay so wow we made a lot of progress not even two hours and we pretty much have like a pretty dope sounding track let's kind of go to the beginning here i want to see if i want to add anything Dreaming again I don't know when it will end I'm losing control 
Reality has lost its hold I lost sense of time I might lose my mind Okay, got a question here. Why bounce the MIDI to audio? This is a really good question. Um, the reason that you'd want to bounce the MIDI down to audio is because in this particular case, well, two reasons. One is lining up this cymbal roll with MIDI is going to take me more time than it's going to take just to bounce it down to audio. And then I can actually line up the audio. It's a lot easier to visualize. Then, hey, thanks for that Sixth Sense Media, that voice. That's my voice. That's that's me. Um, the huge hit right here, the reason I bounce this down to audio is so I could reverse it. Yeah, boy, right? So there's all sorts of reasons why you might want to bounce something down to audio. Manipulation is a big, big reason you want to manipulate stuff. I lost sense of time. I lose my mind. I'm in a tree. Okay, I, I think that we need something in here, you know, I'm gonna go to Alchemy. I've got the sound that I use so much and I, I really like it. It actually works super, super good. Spectral Piccato. And then what I do is go into Native Instruments, go to Replica. The replica manamana, replica manamana, replica. And then I'm gonna go to diffusion mode. Okay, I wanna do what the stringers do here. All right, can you hear that? There's like this really low. Now there isn't. So kind of want to be paying attention to some of that stuff too. Reality has lost its hold. I lost sense of time. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I lost sense of time. I might lose my mind. I'm in a tree within. Going EDM, nice. Okay, we need that. We need, we need, <laughs> how about we take these huge hits here? Why is this stuff up here? Anyways, that's not what I do. I put all my stuff at the bottom. <laughs> Nathan, what are you doing, you idiot? Uh, do I talk to myself while I produce? Yeah, I sure do. And if you don't, then are you actually producing? Hmm? I mean, that's, that is the question. Oopsies, let's not do that. What is going on? 
Oh. Why? Why? Why did I decide to cut those notes? Because if I keep that rhythm going, then it feels very strange for the rhythm to be removed in the chorus. Here's the thing about rhythm. If you have something that's rhythmic and then you stop that rhythmic element, it it feels as though motion has stopped. And so sometimes the best thing to do is to essentially take it away earlier. Oh, pfft. what? What am I doing, guys? I'm all like, why isn't this working? It might be nice if I actually put it on an audio track. That's so funny. No, Nathan, what are you doing? What what are you doing, bro? That's what all y'all are wondering. Like, what is this guy doing? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, maybe no. What if? What if? Uh, no, I'm actually looking for this huge hit that I had bounced onto audio. I locked it deep inside. Okay, so what I want to do, let's get rid of that. No, no, no. You, what? What are you doing, dude? Let's get rid of that fade. No, no, no. <sighs> Please cooperate. Please cooperate. Oh, yeah. What if I do that? Okay, that's a little better. Okay, let's make that like. I locked it deep inside. A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. A Okay, let's let's make that fade a little bit more interesting, shall we? Like like that. And let's actually. I locked it deep inside. I locked it deep inside. Now we're talking. There we go. A truth that I knew about. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that rise and hit. I'm gonna make this. Fast, rise and hit fast. What I'm gonna do in this one is make it so it's super quick. So quick. Like that. Nope. There we go. So this means I need to kind of make that a little bit longer to match. I locked it deep inside. Okay, so you'd love a drum roll like three hits there. Okay, so let's. Like, like, like that? Like that? I locked it deep in. Like, like, like that? Is that what you're saying? It's like a triplet. Like triplet style. Yeah, that's what I, I thought you were saying. Oh, are you saying slower? Duh, 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 duh. Duh, 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 duh. Is that what you're saying? Like duh, 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 duh. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, I think I think I got gotcha. you. So that would be no.
No. Real slow three hits. I, I, I don't think I want anything slow because it needs to actually, I want it to kind of be like a whoom feeling. Just three big hits. Well, I would want to, I, I'm, I want one on the downbeat. There has to be one on the downbeat. Are you talking about two before the downbeat and then the third one being on the downbeat? I locked it deep inside. Yeah, I think, I think if, I, if we're gonna do this, I think it needs to be fast, like boom, like that kind of a thing. I think I'm gonna make this faster, dude. Sorry, sorry, bro. You've been overruled. Dang it. I, yeah, I think so too. That's what I need to do. There we go. I'm not gonna quantize that. I want that to feel a little more raw, like it was played by a real player. I locked it deep inside. That I knew, but I tried to hide. I tried to forget everything I loved and I buried it. Our sense of time. My gosh, guys, this is going to sound so freaking good. Holy crap. Wow. That is that is working. I like this. I locked it deep inside. Oh, yes. Oh man, when vocal production gets in here, this is gonna be dope. Cause guys, this vocal in here, this is just a this is a dummy track. That was a one take, y'all. I'm gonna layer in all these vocals. It's gonna be so dope and sick. It's gonna be legit. Oh man. Guys, two hours. I did all this in two hours. So for those of you who think, uh, yeah, so Tony Incep Inception from Hans Zimmer, yes, this is actually not just inspiration. This was I took the movie and I wrote an original song based on the movie. So even the lyrics are all based on the movie from in the movie Inception. Okay, let's, I had an idea of some other stuff I wanted to do in here and I'm really bummed because um, I'm pretty sure Spitfire Labs is unfortunately not working for me because my external drive that I had, that particular library, I was in the process of moving everything over and guess what happened? You know what happened? You know what happened? That hard drive decided to freaking die on me. Like literally, I'm extremely upset about it. Okay, why isn't Arcade working? Hello? <sighs> Dude, okay, I gotta share this with y'all. That is amazing. Here, let's hide that so you can see that. Thank you for that, Nikian. That is super, super generous of you to say. Thank you. Um, so I'm actually thinking about turning this into a series. Uh, I have some movies in mind. So Inception is going to be the first one. I actually have thought about writing an original song for The Mandalorian because there's no original track, like original song. So the idea is taking movies that never had an original song written for them and then actually writing an original song, but but actually making the lyrics and the music kind of taking inspiration from the movie itself. So 
I think I'm going to do one for Mandalorian. I'm jacked about that one. I literally just thought of that today. And I was like, gum, Got to do that. Um, so for those of you guys here, we have over 100 people. I just was checking. We had 120 people watching at one point in time. Thank you. That is so cool. That is so awesome. Um, if you guys want to support the live stream, I do have super chat. Uh, you guys can do that if you want. No big deal if you don't. But if you want, you know, make sure that I don't starve to death. No, uh, I'm totally kidding. I'm not going to starve to death. I'm doing okay. But that's, you know, if you want to be generous and if you see value in this, you can do that. No pressure. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you guys for, for hanging out. This has been a ton of fun. Uh, some of you guys have been here for quite a while. That's freaking awesome. Thank you guys. That's awesome. Um, we need to get some other stuff in here, I think. Um, this is really close, but I want to start kind of working out some... We need to get some candy in here. You know what I'm saying? We need some candy. Why is Arcade not working? Really confused about that right now. Attic Studio, welcome. Hey, thank you so much. I'm super appreciative of that. All the writing on the side here, This is uh, these are the lyrics right here. And then over here, this was the pre-production, essentially. So you can see here, if I were to make this bigger intro, very simple, simple. Um, so yeah, I'm basically mapping out the production before I actually start producing. It helps me stay really focused on what I'm actually working on so I can work quickly. That's how you're able to do things quickly is I've spent two hours on this and it's sounding pretty good. This bridge is really raw. I need to work on this bridge. Tony, this is a native instruments control S88. It is amazing. If you're a pianist and you're looking for, and you want like a, a really great sounding, just piano, or not sounding, feel is what I meant. If you want something that just has a really great feel, uh, that is the one. That is the one. Okay, I'm I'm thinking we need a little bit. Oh, okay, I know what we're doing. Inspiration from above. We're going to do orchestral percussion. No. Get some tubular, 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 tubular. Um, Nikki and thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm happy to hear that. That's awesome. I loved it. Deep inside. Why is that not sounding like what I'm used to? That is so weird. Why? That's that's not really sound that great. I thought that sounded way better before than the past when I've used it. Electric guitar for the bridge. Yeah, I want to do that. I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, I'm probably going to do that uh, separately. Tune percussion, marimba, xylophone, timpani. Yeah, why don't we do some timpani? I'm using unicorda, Dane. Unicorda from Native Instruments is what I'm using. I have some harp already. Okay, you know what I need to do? I just need to listen to this a little bit. It's the S88, not 61. Okay, okay, I know what we need. I know what we need. Okay, so let's get some glockenspiel because um, one of the things that I wanted to do was, if you recall, in the movie Inception, the very, very end, you have he spins his um, his top, spin top or whatever, and um, at the end, you get this, like, sucks. The sound kind of does that, right? So I'm going to use some glockenspiel. I'm going to reverse that. Ha, 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 ha. OK, 
Okay, so that's all I needed right there. We can just put that on. This one. Rev Glock. We're going to call that that. We're going to bounce that down to... Gonna take that and reverse it. Oh, yeah. Bake up. Bake up. Ah! Yes! Whoa, yeah! And then everything's just gonna just drop out. Yes! That's it! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna make it like drop hard. Like it's just. Ah. The way I say Glockenspiel, is that, why is that weird? Why is that weird? Someone tell me, am I saying it wrong? Funny thing is, I say many things wrong, and uh, I have gotten crap from people for how I say the word measure. Measure, measure, measure. You know what, I don't really care. I got into, I, one dude actually was really upset about it, like really upset, I was like, dude, you're saying it wrong. You're uh, you're you're telling the children how to say crap wrong. You know what I you know what I thought of? Uh I thought um okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what I know what we're going to do here? Here's what we're going to do. Keyboard instruments. No. Orchestral percussion. No. VSL strings. Where is it? Woodwinds brass VSL percussion. Celeste, 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 I've, you know, whatever. Oh! As a ruler measure, measure. Lawson. Yeah, my thought is if you can understand the words I'm saying, then uh, it, who cares? Drink some water, bro. Okay. All right, we got some Celeste. I locked it deep inside. That I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose oh, yeah. to forget everything I loved in the bed. I like that. Yes, there will be a replay. I locked it deep inside. A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget. Stuck inside these walls 
I record with the metronome always. Oh yeah, that was sounding real good. Actually, no, I don't want to quantize everything. Yeah, so this is a, it's called a Celeste. Um, and it is, yeah, that's what it sounds like. It's an orchestral instrument. Let's quantize all that crap. I locked it deep inside. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, geez. <laughs> I just did not want to do that. A truth that I knew, but I chose to hide. I chose to forget. I use, uh, Dane, I use, um, I use arcade typically for ear candy. Um, I mean, it's a it's basically like splice, but you can get lots of loops and things like that. I use it for like vocals, uh, like vocal loops, samples, and things like that. So it's yeah, it's a ton of fun. Everything I loved in the buried I think we actually might want to add some glocken glocken splitter. Is it okay to keep it that bare bones? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are tons of times where I only have one instrument. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a little bit more juice to. Uh, we're gonna add a little more juice to this final chorus. I just thought, you know what? It'd be good to differentiate this last chorus with. Percussion. There's really not a lot of drums going on here. We're gonna call this orchestral, 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 orchestral perk. We're gonna call it orchestral, orchestral, orchestral. There we go. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa!
pretty much just half of that. We'll make it the same at the end there. Bumpa dumpa ka. Three, four, and a da. Okay, maybe just sixteenth notes. So that needs to be thirty second notes. The vocal here is just a dummy vocal, guys. This is not actually the vocal. This I'm only worrying about the instrumental. The only reason I have the vocal in this is so I can just know what the vocal is gonna sound like. Yeah. Boom shakalaka. So Jonas is asking the keyboard in the back. Okay, so yeah, I have the keyboard in the back, but I have a Novation Launchpad X here. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. That's what I'm using for that. Something is sounding a little amiss in this chest. Let's figure it out. did not mean to do that. Um, do I EQ or compress virtual instruments? Uh, yep, sometimes. I need to turn this back on. I'm sorry, guys. I have to freeze this track again. It's going to take a second. <sighs> My audio is going to cut out for a second. Just hang, on hang tight, guys.
Okay, sorry that took so long, guys. Freeze, freeze takes forever, but it's trust me, this instrument in particular uh, takes forever, um, forever in a day to. Okay. To load, so it, we we'd be having all sorts of issues. Sweet. Okay, so I think we need to kind of work on this bridge a little bit. Okay, you know what I could do? Um, I I want to do guitar. I really, really do. Um, and, and so real quick, um, there was a question about orchestration, the best way to learn by yourself. So you can definitely learn by yourself. It's just, it's going to take a lot longer. I... I actually had t I, I had teachers, um, and I, I really think there's a lot of value in getting teachers. That's obviously challenging because maybe you don't have a teacher in your area. That's when you can either go to online courses. YouTube obviously has places. You know, orchestration isn't the purpose of my channel. I'm focused more on producing, although like orchestration is just a part of it. Um, but yeah, it's hard. It's hard to learn by yourself. Just to be completely honest, like I think we live in the world of DIY. Um, like everything's DIY, but it turns out that actually learning DIY is, is it's not as good as actually learning from someone who knows what they're doing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna um, throw in some vintage keys. Uh, question about what does freeze do? Basically what it does is it, it, saves, um, it saves the sample exactly as I had it, so my computer doesn't have to use processing power. Uh, so this piano, I froze it. It's a native instruments. Ins uh, it's a native instruments library. It's Unicorda and it takes up a lot of CPU. It's a very large, uh, computer like Ram sucker. Um, and so what I did is I froze it, which basically means that I can't touch it. Or if I do, it'll unfreeze it, but the computer will just remember everything it did. So it doesn't have to use uh, Mandalorian instrumental type beat. Um, I don't know if you heard me earlier. I'm actually doing a, I'm going to start a series depending on how this video does. Cause this video is just me. Um, yeah. I rather get a real electric guitar. Um, maybe I'm going to see how this electric piano sounds because electric piano might actually sound really cool, really vibey. And the thing is, I don't want to necessarily just do everything Hans Zimmer did. I said Hans again, Hans, Hans Zimmer. Sounds neat. Let's do inserts here. That sounds kind of cool. solo that's awesome da, 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 da.
How to adjust treble on a vocal? EQ. EQ, that is the simple answer. Uh, actually, my plan when I buy a new guitar, I'm actually gonna be buying a Jaguar, which is Fender. Beats me. I, I'd already told you. <laughs> you keep asking the same question. EQ. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go in here and do that because that's not what I'm working on right now. Okay, so that right there, I actually forgot to add a chord. And I know we can't stay here. Okay, so just added that in. Nikian, uh, she's. Uh, you're saying, would you suggest any course or any person where I can follow and learn piano properly? Hmm. That's a. I actually don't really know of too many resources for that. I'm sorry. I, I, down the road, would like to build a piano course since that is my primary instrument, but that's just not the primary thing right now. Stay here. Beats me. No, no worries, buddy. No worries. I'm trapped inside this maze that I made. I'm stuck inside these walls of my mind. Okay, I think we need to kind of build this up a little bit more, honestly. I think that would be cool to build this up a little bit. There we go, right there. <laughs> that electric piano's getting laid. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, do I own a Native Instruments device? Yes, this keyboard is Native Instruments Control S88. Most of the samples I'm using in this track are Native Instruments. Um, Jax Neptine says music uh, music schools have music programs. Um, I do not recommend getting a degree in music. Speaking from personal experience, I have a degree in music, and I'm just going to tell you, if this is the stuff you want to do, you're not going to learn it in college. Just saying. So can I add some shaker with that vocal? Hmm. Maybe. I do have a rain stick behind me. I need to, I need to add uh, this lower part here. Trapped inside this maze that I made. I'm stuck inside these walls of my mind. There we go. I'm trapped inside this maze that I made. I'm stuck inside these. Okay, I think that we need to add a little bit more here. I'm trapped inside this I'm stuck inside these walls of my mind. 
If you have self-discipline, can you learn guitar by YouTube? Yeah. I mean, I think you can learn a lot of things by YouTube if you have, if you have the, um, yeah, if you, if you have the discipline to do it. Oh, that, 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 that's what we're talking about. Like to know my system specs 16 gigabytes ram i'm using an imac 21 and a half inch um, i'm going to be upgrading my computer going into the new year i'm going to be getting a imac 27 inch with 64 gigabytes of ram that is way overkill for music production but i do a lot of video production and video production just needs way more of that um, Trapped inside this maze that I'm stuck inside these walls of my mind. Okay. I think that... Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to duplicate this. I want to know. Any thoughts on M1 Max? No, not really. I haven't looked into them. I'm stuck inside these walls of my mind. Oh, yeah. It's made the I'm stuck inside these It needs to be like a double tongue. Bum ba da bum 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 da bum. Okay, okay. Can we do that? Swords staccato. Okay, I guess they just have staccato, so we're gonna figure out. Oh snap. Okay, we need to remove some of this reverb. It's a little bit much. Is that just how it is? Man, that reverb is a little bit much. I'm stuck inside these walls. Wait a minute. This makes the I'm stuck inside these walls. Of that that just might work. Um. 
Kind of leave it messy because that's how a horn. I mean, they wouldn't play that 100% perfect. I'm stuck inside these yeah, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do there is yeah, I'm going to do some percussion here. I'm going to do some, let's do some timpani. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Percussion. Timpani. This may What mic am I using? This one right here is a loud LS-208. I'm stuck inside these walls of the Do you even percussion, bro? Do you even percussion, bro? Quantize that crap, quantize that crap. Ba -da Mackie or 5BT, good for studio monitor? I couldn't tell you. I've never used them. Sorry, dude. Here's the thing. I think most of you guys prefer if I didn't know something, I told you I didn't know something instead of blowing up my butt. So I'll just tell you what I think. Guys, we've been streaming for like almost three hours. This is insane. And we're close. <laughs> like, we're, we're close. Okay, we need some snare. That's what we need. Let's just double Snare. Drums. Let's just try that. TLM 102 for vocals. No idea. Never tried it. Let's just solo this out. Dang. That slower tempo, it's harder to do it with a slower tempo like that, actually. Sure, why not? Nope. When you say tell you the configuration of my machine, you're gonna you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific than that. <clears throat> Alrighty, righty, we're getting somewhere. I feel like this this bridge really is now quite elevated. These days feel like 
Ooh, some choir. And I know we can't stay here. I'm trapped inside this I'm stuck inside these walls of Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So here's the so Jax Neptune says producer versus uh orchestra band. Dang, that's dope. So here's the thing. Um my background is a combination of classical training and and mainstream. So the producer that I learned from, he's a mainstream producer. Pretty much my entire educational background is in more of a classical vein. Um, I have my degree in music composition. I've I've done classical commissions, so I've been hired by professional. Um, I've been hired by professional um, musicians, you know, classical musicians to write music for them to premiere. Uh, I've done you know orchestral music, choral music. Um, I actually co-wrote and orchestrated a musical theater that was awesome. I was, I think I was 20 or 21. I was 20 years old when I got that job. Um, yeah. How much RAM and solid state drive? Um, so I have um, 16 gigabyte of RAM on this machine, and then I have a terabyte of fusion drive, which was kind of an older thing they did. The new computer I'm gonna be getting is 64 gig RAM with two terabytes of solid state drive. But again, that's like completely more, that's like way more than you would need for music production. The thing is that video production for me and making video in live streaming and things like that, it's just, it's just way, way heavier and harder on the computer. Okay. One thing I really want to do, I'm not going to worry about it right now, is I want to remove some of this reverb and this staccato brass stuff. It's just a little bit much. Um, Okay, so someone suggested choir. Okay, let's do that. I wish I had, you know, I really wish. Um, okay, do I write music notation or logic sheet translate could work? So, I mean, if I'm doing stuff that's like commissioned, it was always in finale. So not using, I would never, ever use logic's notation. Is it night where I'm at? No, it's not. It's 2 p.m. It's like 1.45 p.m. And, and the question about this being a studio, a home studio or separate, this is a home studio. I'm in my house. Eric, Eric Whitaker, anybody? Anyone know Eric Whitaker? Uh, vocal chops instead of choir. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trapped inside this I'm stuck inside these walls of my Also, this is a temporary studio that I'm in right now. Um, I'm actually going to be remodeling another room in my house that is going to be freaking dope. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So excited. Let's do eighth note quantization. I'm trapped in the All right, we got to make this a little bit more dynamic. And this uh, particular library does not have velocity control like others. So I'm actually just going to have to use volume. I'm trapped inside the Now we're talking. Now we're talking. 
Let's uh, grab that symbol that we did earlier. Let's add that over here. That is sounding good. Here we go from the top. I'm going to end this live stream here soon. Just I've been doing this for three hours. Uh, we got some sustain pedal in there. I'm dreaming again I don't know when it will end I'm losing control Reality has lost its hold I lost sense of time
Oh my gosh. Oh, dang. Okay, so question here. Um, is YouTube the best source for learning music production or do we need to get into university and scholar? I do not recommend going to a university, no. Um, I have a degree in music. And uh, if you want to do production, uh, no. I, I would not recommend it. Um, honestly, the beauty of the internet is there are there are alternatives, right? So like YouTube is one. I have a course that I'm building that will be launching in a month. So if, if you want to like if you want to learn that stuff, then I have a course. Um, if you go to the description, the link in the description is a free module. Um, so you can check that out. Um, let's see any of the other questions here. Cool. Yeah, some good comments in here, guys. This is awesome. And by the way, I'm not saying I'm the I'm the only person that you should you should learn from either. Like there's plenty plenty of wonder if you can master here right here. No, this is not in a mastering stage yet and I am not a mastering engineer. Indian classical style music production someday just an idea. Oof. I would have to I would have to brush up on on Indian music. I really would. Hey Richard White, welcome to the club. Welcome to the logic. Here, I'm gonna change it here because we're we're about done. I'm gonna be wrapping up. Oh, there we go. So um yeah. You know, I would recommend if you're looking for a mic, um, you don't need to spend more than a couple hundred bucks, two hundred, three hundred dollars. Make sure you get an audio interface. Do not get a USB mic. Just trust me, way too many issues. Yeah, if you guys want, just like the last couple minutes here, I'd be I'd be happy to answer any questions. I know I've kind of been uh... best advice for home music makers: try stuff till it sounds good or buy a course. Um, Fabio, um, okay, it's not in the link or in the not in the description here. I'm gonna. Uh... There um, is that link right there is, um, yeah, that link right there is a, a free module in the course, and then you'll also get a notification once the course goes live. Um, so, oh, so back to Fabio, best advice for home music makers, try stuff till it sounds good or buy a course. So my, my advice would be at the beginning, you should experiment. I don't think you should just buy a course right away. Um, I would recommend, I would recommend that you experiment first. Get familiar with your DAW. You can learn how to use your DAW for free. Um, my channel, like I teach Logic on my channel quite a bit, so you can learn a lot about using Logic or any any DAW for that matter. But then when it comes to taking things to the next level, that's when I'd be looking at investing in a course. Um, and then that's really what my course is. It's it's really kind of after you've had a little bit of experience, then that's something you should be jumping into. And it's more of a full-blown, like, in-depth course. My, my course is not like other <laughs> courses where it's like, here's this, like, little mini course that's going to teach you nothing. It's, it's a full-blown course. Like, it's meant to be super, super in-depth. Can I play the song once? I just played it all the way through. I just played it. <laughs> um, can I show you how to write close, close, close harmonies? Um, I mean, really, the main the main thing with close harmonies is, I mean, you have like a couple different ways you can harmonize things, right? So if you have a chord, here, I'll just get a. Here, I'll just use this piano. So here's a C major chord. I mean, close harmony would just be, instead of doing this, that's open harmony because I'm spreading out the voicing. That would be closed harmony. It's the exact same chord, just voiced differently. All those are the same chords. Um, yeah. Okay, um, Audio Technica, yeah, these are my main headphones that I use for 
Um, yeah, Parth um, about the closed harmonies. Yeah, I mean, it, it's basically just if you're going to harmonize, then not having your voicing spread way out. I mean, and you could do other things. Uh, yeah, beats beats me. Am I using my Mac camera? I am. I have uh, my. I can use my DSLR for streaming. Um, I lost the. I just moved. We just moved, and um, I just ordered a, a new cable so I can reconnect. So I don't have to use my. I'm not going to be using this anymore because the image here is not going to look nearly as good as the DSLR. The image doesn't look bad here, and that's because I actually have like professional lighting in my studio. So yeah, do I master my own tracks? No, I don't. I do not. Um, I I don't necessarily recommend you master your own tracks. Um, either find someone else who can do it or use Lander or other services like that. I probably would get flack for telling people to use Lander, but it works. It's good stuff. Just make sure you're mixing your stuff at a low enough, a low enough volume that Lander can do the work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Six Sense Media. Am I having a uh, nice holidays? What have I been up to? And what am I doing for New Year's Eve? That's great. Appreciate you asking that. Um, so last week for Christmas, it's like three, four days with family, my, my family, and then, um, and then my wife's family. So pretty much just family all week, weekend. Um, so Beats Me is asking about the HDMI cable to use a DSLR's webcam. It's just basically, you can just find a USB to the DSLR cable. I forget what the DSLR cable is called, but you can do that. Um, sorry, there's a lot of questions. Can I mention my Mac specifications, please? Yeah, so I have an iMac 21 and a half inch, 16 gigabytes RAM, one terabyte of Fusion Drive. That's really all that matters. Um, what DB do you recommend mix at? Yeah, minus six DB if you can. It's gonna give you a lot more room to go. So, I mean, if if you're like, this is really quiet, it's supposed to be. Um, so turn your monitors up, do what you gotta do. Um, but if you can get it sounding really good at a low volume, then it's going to sound really good once you master it. Um, but yeah, just as far as like New Year's, um, going to be heading to my wife's family, um, for New Year's day, hanging out with them. And then weekend is going to be relaxed because then my sister's getting married the following week and that is going to be nuts. So, so going to just try to get as much as I can. Okay. Richard White, what would I recommend for a mic purchase? Um, well, my advice would be get a large diaphragm. Um, hello from Argentina. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, I would recommend a large diaphragm microphone in most situations, but I would I would just want to tell you that you need to make sure your room is not ha, doesn't have a ton of reflections and is really noisy and loud because that's going to cause a lot of problems. If you have a loud room, then a dynamic mic might be a better solution. They don't sound as great, but uh, yeah. The Loudon LS208, this works really good if your room isn't as great. Um, tube for warmth, yeah. I, I My go-to mic is... Uh, my, my, my favorite microphone is the Avantone CV12, which is a tube mic. It's a $500 mic. It sounds absolutely is amazing. Okay, here we go. Is it worth, uh, learning guitar and piano at the same time or just start with one? You know, that's a good question. I just, I guess it just depends on, um, I guess it depends on like what kind of proficiency level you want to get at. You know, are you, are you wanting to get really good or are you wanting to just become proficient enough to make do? If that, then... I don't see any problem with doing both. I think it just comes down to how much time you have to practice. Does a MacBook Air 2016 helps? Um, I'm assuming you're just want, wanting to know if you can use that. I mean, yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to do anything crazy with it, but yeah, I couldn't do what I'm doing right here with a MacBook Air. Um, you're going to buy your first MIDI controller. What do you think about the Roland A500 Pro? I've never used it. I mean, Roland is a great company. Um, I'm super partial to Native Instruments. Native Instruments is just super good. Complete S or A series. You know, it's been so long since I bought mine. I haven't really looked into the new ones. If I buy something, I'm not going to really keep up with, you know, with everything. Hello from Brazil. What part of Brazil are you from? I've been to Sao Paulo, Curitiba. I've been, 
Yeah, I did a music tour in Brazil probably eight years ago, seven or eight years ago. Someone asked how old I am. I'm 26. 26. Been doing the music thing for a long time. I started piano when I was six years old, got into songwriting when I was 10, studied, un- I worked under a songwriter when I was starting when I was 10. And then uh, in high school, started producing when I was 14, got my first like professional job, I guess you could say, as a composer when I was 19, like composer producer. Why don't I use Spitfire Audio BBC, Symphony Orchestra? Uh, I, I mean, I do sometimes, but Native Instruments is just so much better. Have I ever been to India? No, I would love to visit India. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we got quite a few people from India here. Yo, twenty six, nice. It's a good year. It's a good year. Yeah. Any any last like, any last question? Bro is the next Mozart. <laughs> Hopefully, less of a jerk. Yeah, Mozart was uh, did not have the best of reputations as a human being. So, and uh, Sixth Sense Media about the wedding hungover. That's pretty funny. Um, fun fact: I have never been drunk in my entire life. Yeah, so I don't even know what a homework. I don't even know what a hangover feels like. Uh, who? But I I do drink. I'm not saying I don't drink. I just I've I have no interest in getting drunk. Do I not use the complete control software? I do. Um, the reason I haven't used it recently is because I have to reset a bunch of crap because I just moved everything to new external hard drives. And um, I need to reorient the software, which is a massive, massive pain in the butt. Who's my favorite? Who are some of my favorite producers? You know, I, I don't spend as much time looking into producers as um, as like composers and songwriters and things like that. But Oak Felder, I'm a huge fan of Oak Felder. Um, hey, Miba, you're asking about pre faders, post faders. Honestly, you don't need to worry about it. Like, it's not important. Um, Fabio, happy New Year's as well. Looking for a new interface, more than four channels. So, which string library did I use for the first pad? I use Native Instruments. Their Symphony Essentials comes with their complete ultimate. Oh, here's a question How did I get my first job as a composer? Um, so, uh, I told the story on last night's stream as well, but, um, I was at a birthday party for a friend and ended up meeting this guy who owns a film production company. Um, and, um, basically got talking with him. We talked for like an hour. I didn't say anything that I was a composer producer. And then finally I was like, you know what? I should say something. So I just told him, um, you know, Hey, like I, uh, I'm actually a composer and I produce my own music and stuff like that. And he, and I told him I was interested in film scoring. And so he was like, yeah, you should send me some stuff. So I sent him stuff and then they ended up offering me a, uh, a score. They were like, Hey, we actually have a budget. Um, we would like to hire you. And I did that. And then I did another one for them after that. And then that kind of got the ball rolling. I started realizing that like, you just got to take the bull by the horns and be very aware of what's going on around you and being aware that there are people around you who might be interested um, how much money is Native Instruments? Depends on depends on which bundle you get. The complete ultimate package is, I think, around a thousand dollars. But if you get their smaller bundles, they're a lot cheaper. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm never satisfied with your choir libraries. Can I recommend one? Well, East West has really good stuff. East West is really good. Um, do I use the Logic strings? I have not a whole lot much anymore. From Seattle, nice. Which DAW did I start with? I started with GarageBand when I was 14, and then I got into Logic a year later. What was the budget for the film? Um, I think I got paid like $350 for that first one, which is not a lot. Um, yeah, and then I think I got paid maybe double or triple that the second the second time. Um, getting Getting gigs from film companies that are local, really hard to get them to pay you. Because they're used to using, you know, licensed music, which is way cheaper. And so hiring out custom music is it's not cheap. Um, I mean, typically you want to be making minimum, you know, a couple hundred dollars a minute of music. I mean, if you're looking at like scores in L.A., like Hollywood movies and things like that, we're talking $1,000, $2,000. 
Yeah. A, a minute, that is. Um, no, no, no. For the, for the film, it wasn't a two-hour-long film. It was just a short ad. It was an ad. It was a commercial. Do I wake up with tunes? Have you heard people come up with compositions in sleep? Uh, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I've definitely had it happen where I wake up and I have ideas right away. Um, am I on Spotify? No, not as an artist. I'm going to be releasing music as an artist here in this this upcoming this upcoming year. Would I like to work for a record label? Not really. No. I think people are really anxious to work with a record label and a record label is not going to actually help you. If you are already having success um Seattle's where all the cool people come from that make music. Yeah, that's true. Looking for a way to create a Wawa guitar. Jeez, can't stay tuned. What are the basics you need to learn to understand before composing and producing music? I don't think there's anything you need to learn like before. I mean, just start. Um, I mean, understand. I mean, this is that's such a deep question. There's just no way I can really answer that whole that thing in in a short short time. So we've been streaming for a long stinking time. I am going to run. I think if I don't run, I'm going to keep having tons and tons of questions. So I'm going to get running here. Last question, how did I learn to sing so well? First of all, Dane, I appreciate you say that because um, I grew up thinking I was tone deaf. Yeah, no joke. Um, I took vocal lessons in high school, um, sang in choirs, high school all the way through college, took, um, oh, hi there, come here. Um, took uh, uh, vocal lessons in high school and college and things like that. So yeah, where can you start making money in music? That's another... Yeah, that's another really, really deep question. So I am going to run. We will do this more later. Love y'all. We'll, uh, we'll be doing more of these live streams. Don't worry.